I'd like to make my closing argument in the Jeffrey Epstein case. All right, so these girls, I guess there were 25 of them. Um, probably none of them really remember it. And all of them were told they were victims. And sometimes when you're told something, it's easy to believe it. Um, but I do know that if you ask me about something 10 years ago, it's a very, very, very big smudge in my memory. And the key to memory is that you have to recall it lots of times. Um, the reason that flashbulb memories, like memories of what happened during 9-11 are so distinct is because you repeat them. And the reason that um, this test was so distinct for these students is because um, they took it first. And there are a lot of things that can make something distinct. If it's first, in, in like, see, see you're hearing something? Like I start off this, this speech with whatever, you'll remember that. And say I end it with something, you'll remember that, but you might forget the things in the middle a little bit. But the, the students recalling the beginning of the Gulf War was um, actually right after they wrote down seeing their roommate, which, recall, which involved them recalling. So it, this was a repetitive process, and so it makes it less distinct. Um, all right, so I'm, I'm talking about flashbulb memories again from Dr. Charles Weaver, um, who was my professor. He, he's a memory expert. I'm not an expert. Steven Pinker is a memory expert. I'm not. Um, Elizabeth Loftus is a memory expert. I'm not. Um, but I have learned a little bit about him, especially through Chuck Weaver. All right, so Steven Pinker, I feel like people are going, okay, this guy's a racist to Harvard. But what can you know about me from psychologically profiling me? If you make a very reasonable argument, then I'm going to trust what you're what you're saying and what he says about um, monozygotic twins having uh, much more similar IQs at the age of 18 or at, 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 during at, in adulthood, assuming they haven't practiced IQ tests. Um, what that says is um, that intelligence is genetic. And if you're comparing people that are raised together by the smartest parent ever and one of them's adopted, and their IQ drops once they, around like 21 or around 18 when they go to college. And, um, but they had a, had a high IQ at a young age because their parents were especially helpful. Um, what I'm trying to say is, um, it's really hard to, I, I don't want to talk about the research, but I, I'm just saying it's really hard to dispute that IQ is, 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 gen is not genetic because it is. And, um, it's especially genetic from a, like if you're if you're like cloning the gen, the genetics, and I think that I'm an example of IQ is genetic because not only am I, I mean don't get me wrong I'm more than my IQ because I am people teaching me about philosophy and, and religion and uh, about the law and about like everything my whole life. I'm about all the books I've read. I'm about people I've been around. I'm I'm about the conversations I've had. I'm about the type of person I am where you can convince me of something like that intelligence is genetic and not think that's offensive because the last thing in the world that's offensive is that twins have the same genetics even if they're raised, or they have very similar IQs even if they're raised in separate houses. Um, even if they're saved, if one's raised in Australia, one's raised in, 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 in the United States and they're monozygotic twins, they have the same genes. Um, that means that they will have a very similar IQ and all I'm saying is that that's a fact. And until you accept that, then you're gonna be in denial about the relationship between um, race and and intelligence. And I mean, and, and and it seems like the entire world, like they're about to say that you're a terrorist if you believe that if you're a white supremacist. And just because you're, I mean, I think I've been pretty clear. Just because I'm a white supremacist doesn't mean I don't care about other races. It just means that. I very clearly think that we better be supreme or else we're going to lose because you're going to have some dumbass in charge and they're not going to even understand anything they do, any decision they make. They're never going to understand what they're doing. They're going to be sitting there trying to blackmail or like trying to ruin everyone um, that is actually smart because they're an enemy. And then what happens is you end up with in a country with no smart people left, just people with titles. And I'm telling you, the one thing you'll find out about me is I'm not a title guy. I, I don't think that you are your degree, and it seems like, and but I do understand, like, everyone thinks that people are their degrees. Like, you judge people by their degrees. I judge people by their degrees. I mean, it gives you credibility. 
But I don't know. All I'm saying is um, it's very easy to create false memories in someone's mind. I mean, it's like, okay, so you flew out to the island and then he strapped a gun to the bedpost because after you'd already willingly gone to his underwater aquarium as a whore that's getting paid. All right, I mean, I'm just saying like, this one girl tried to get me to choke her. I mean, I mean, I don't know. I mean, wait, no, wait, she didn't choke me. You know, she really, a lot of girls like you to choke them. Like they don't want you to like hurt them, but they like you to really dominate them. Um, I don't know. Um, all I'm saying is it really, really sounds like um, some of these accusations are, are pushing it. And um, that's why I think um, sometimes the FBI's got to look at themselves and say, uh, what kind of people are we? We're people that dominate the news like 50% of the time with hate towards someone that has sex with prostitutes. It's like, good for him. He's not raping because he's having sex with prostitutes. Congratulations, you're not raping. Just like I'm, I have to make sure I masturbate. It's like a, a, a human thing. Because if not, then I might be turned into a rapist. I might turn into a person that has an STD and I have to take care of myself. And I'm just saying like, I don't think there's anything wrong with taking care of yourself. And I think that you have a culture at the FBI that thinks there's something wrong with taking care of yourself. Even though straight up, it sure seems like you got a rape problem. At least you have in the past with us.